Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil alemin. Ve salatu ve selamu ala eşrafil enbiyai ve imamil mürselin. Seyyidina ve Mevlana Muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. Selamu aleyküm ve rahmetullahi ve barakatuhu. Welcome to this read-through of Contemplating the Qur'an, a thematic uh, commentary of the 30 parts of the Blessed Qur'an. Tonight, alhamdulillah, we've reached the 18th juz, uh, covering surahs Al-Mu'minun, Al-Nur and Al-Furqan, that's the 23rd to the 25th surahs of the Qur'an. And the theme of this juz is, through adherence to divine guidance, security is vouchsafed. The success of a community is contingent upon each of its members adhering to the lordly commandments and their careful preservation of the divine teachings. It is only when a people dissociate themselves with, from the ordinances of worship and self-purification that they find themselves overcome by chaos and anarchy. Their base desires hinder them and their vain fancies rise up. This part thus begins by connecting success with faith, worship and reverent devotion or khushur, the latter of which is indubitably one of the great manifestations of purity of heart and a fruit born of sincerity in worship. The foundations of this heavenly system of good character are fulfilling one's oaths, avoiding vain speech, and upholding one's trusts. And that's the first ten verses of Surah Mu'minun. These are the attributes of a man who has safeguarded the primordial nature with which God created him and cause him to grow in the most complete forms and the best of natures, sending to him messengers that he might be purified. But those recalcitrant rejectors of his command, who deny resurrection and belie the messengers, are truly the people of perdition and ruin. Divine guidance, therefore, is the guarantor of security and goodness. It protects communities from fragmentation and disunity, defending them from those misguiding folk who reject the Day of Judgment and lie to God and to themselves. To these latter will all realities be unveiled on the Day of Judgment, such that they will realize that they were not created to no end. Surah An-Nur comes to depict some of the main characteristics of the Divine Guidance relating to interconnections within the community that serve to protect human dignity through criminalizing fornication, but also forbidding libelous slander, even between spouses, and laying down specific measures to safeguard societal cohesion, such as li'an, which is how to deal with spouses accusing one another of adultery. All these are manifestations of God's wisdom. He has, made, he has thus made unlawful all that has the potential to cause harm, such as circulation of rumours and exchange of accusations, declaring that this is naught but following the footsteps of Satan, as well as entering people's homes without their permission. Similarly, God has ordained principles and etiquettes of interaction between the genders, such as restraining lustful glances and veiling oneself. Those who feel the need should make haste to marry. Those who haven't the means should do so, who, to do so should remain chaste. This legislation is a light from God, the light of the heavens and the earth. He who guides the bewildered and rescues them from the darknesses of temptation and spiritual blindness. Adhering to the commandments of God is the root cause of felicity and salvation. Establishing his ordinances, such as prayer and charity, engenders mercy. Worship of God begins with the, within the home, such that proper relationships are upheld and children are taught to seek permission at particular times before entering their parents' rooms. A man thus becomes acquainted with the rights of his kinfolk, kinsfolk, before becoming acquainted, as per the end of the chapter, with the adab of calling on the Blessed Prophet wasallam, the same Prophet whose true worth the polytheists fell utterly short of recognizing. Hence they claimed that he spoke nothing but fabricated lies, as in the beginning of Surah Furfan, finding fault with him, being like a human being like unto themselves, as well as with his lack of riches. In sum, then, following the ordinances of God is salvation in this world and the next, and the readying of the soul, that it might enter into the presence of the sanctified sovereign. And with that, inshallah, we finish for today. Jazakumah khair, wa sallallahu ala sayyidina wa mullana Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi jama'in bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته